that Smyrna cowboy to you. Hello everybody, Smyrna cowboy here. How y'all doing today? Today is the day after Thanksgiving. It's uh, the 25th day of November, 2023. <laughs> At 1.56 in the afternoon. So you got a wreath on shadow facts here. It's about had it. Uh, I've got another one ordered through Amazon that's coming. But I wanted to show you Miss Sally Ann. I got some joggers here this morning, well, this afternoon. See them there. See uh, Santa Alf, and I got the, uh, the candle and a snowman. Oh. And a nice little wreath on there as well. So I'm going to ride around the neighborhood a little bit. Let you know what's been happening with me. And all that good stuff. Get my gloves on I got from Timu. So far, so good. One of some that had the thing on it where you can swipe your phone, but I still got my stylus there, as you can see. <laughs> Sam Smith got a kick out of that one. That was great. Put my shades on. So we're just going to ride around the neighborhood here for a little bit. Let you know what's been happening with me. Well, first off, I hope everybody had a really nice Thanksgiving. I know I did. Our daughter and son-in-law hosted Thanksgiving dinner. It was really, really good. Enjoyed it. He's putting up Christmas lights, I guess. Got some over there. The Christmas lights video will be here in the very near future. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can look forward to that or not. <laughs> Got a few things to talk about. I have been noticing on a lot of my videos here lately that uh, getting a lot of wind noise through the mic and through the helmet so I went on Amazon and I bought a pack of five of dead cats I've already tested it and did a video on it but I didn't like the way the video looked it sounded a lot better let me know if you guys like it or not as far as the sound goes So, I'm looking forward to, not this Sunday, but next Sunday, the 3rd of December, my daughter Ashton, also known as Pooter, and I will be in the Smyrna Christmas Parade, and Miss Sally Ann will be decked out to the nines on that one. They're probably going to have to classify her as a float. <laughs> but I got a lot of stuff, and uh, it ought to be pretty good. <laughs> Check this out. The skeleton that they had from Halloween. It's got a Santa thing on it. That's great. That's pretty cool. Throw it out there for the deer, I guess. We get a bunch of deer around here. Now, if I've told you the story, please just skip a little bit. But I was out in the, getting ready to go out to the shed, and I looked out the kitchen window, and I saw a baby deer in our backyard, a fawn. 
And so I thought that was cool. So I went out to the shed and my neighbor across the way there said that there was a deer in the backyard. I said, yeah, I know I saw it from the window. I said, no, he's trapped back here. He's back here now. So I saw him back there. And on the, as you're leaving the shed on the right side of the shed is a chain link fence. And I kid you not, this deer just headbutted that thing at full speed and bounced off of it like he, like a basketball hitting a wall. I'm going like, man, jump. So I get out there and I open up the gate and everything else. And then I look all around there and he's gone. So I guess he must have, guess he must have jumped on the other sides. But when I went around there, that little deer pushed his way between those bars on the on the fence. You can see where he came in and where he came out. He didn't jump. I'm going like, what? So I tried to use some wood clamps and clamp them together so it would bend back. And when I released the pressure off those, he just made a big thawing. So just have a little little thing there like Superman did back in the 50s uh, you younger people that are watching this <laughs> they uh, have no idea who Christopher Reeve was and I just I just couldn't believe it that was just that was just weird it was that was just really weird oh so but anyway testing out this mic and I got this idea from Moose formerly known as Moose 3971 and I was thinking about putting a mount for the Insta360 where the pillion sits so I had some stock aluminum and I cut it to size and painted it as you see here yes I love Donna labeling and so, I haven't tested it yet, but uh, here are some pictures of the mount that I made with, uh, with it. The anchor points are where the um, armrests go in the back top box for Ashton when she rides in the Christmas parade. So I'd use those as anchor points and I'd use some spacers to put on the seat with the one inch ball. And I think that mount's gonna be good. I had a uh, double claw mount so I could mount that to the pole and then mount that to the top box. And it came yesterday, but it was missing one of the claws with a lack of a better word. So I had to go to Amazon this morning have it sent back and so that other one's coming Thursday, which is fine because I really don't need it. But I just wanted to have that if I use that back mount for the Insta360. So last year, right after Christmas, I bought some more Christmas lights for Miss Sally Ann. So I've saved those and I put all the stuff that I need to put on there in my BRP uh, front bag. So I've got it prepped and ready for the Christmas parade. So I've been tinkering around with, with that mount and I hope, hopefully, I think the say that the another one's coming in Thursday the 27th. Uh, next week so if uh, if there's a good day in there somewhere where the temperatures aren't 13 degrees below zero I'll try that mount out but here's a picture of that mount I was going to mount it to the stock of the Insta360 and to the and to the top box so it'll be forced into place for a good steady rock uh, rock hard mount. So yeah, there'll be uh, 
more video testing on that. <laughs> oh, I just killed myself. Let's see. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much about it for right now. Like I said, I'm just going around the neighborhood here and um, doing this video about uh, about everything that I've been doing the past poochie dog. Scared the poopy out of me. And I wanted to get Miss Sally Ann out and stretch her legs a little bit. I think what I'm going to have to do, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, after the Christmas parade, I am going to just, I am going to have to just pull the trigger and put this baby in the trailer and take it down to American Motorsports, get that service done. I've been putting it off and putting it off, making excuse after excuse. So I've just got to get that done. Got to. Just one of those things, I guess. And uh, I watched uh, Coffee with HDR. I'll put a link to his channel in the description on a card here. He has a uh, Saturday morning show on YouTube, a live, live stream. And he was telling me about, he went out for the Black Friday sales. And believe it or not, it was hardly anybody, anybody there at these places. Now, I didn't go out yesterday and I didn't do the Thanksgiving Day run because it was nasty and drizzly and, and everything else. How you doing? And uh, so I didn't I didn't do that run yesterday uh, Thanksgiving Day, but I did go out today to go to Am to go to Coles to do an Amazon. Uh, they have a drop off location. Better run, Squirrely. <laughs> Well, this bird's been sitting there for a while. So there was hardly anybody at all at shopping centers and stuff because I went to Kohl's, which is at uh, a strip mall type thing. Wasn't hardly anybody there. And then I went to Publix. I had to get some more 3M dual lock tape. And I know they have it instead of ordering it because I wanted to get those two things put on the top box today. And there was hardly anybody there in the parking lot either. So, oh, let's just blow through that stop sign. How about it? Good job. So, you know, I have no clue of why that is. I guess Amazon's really taking a, taking a beating on uh, brick and mortar stores. So that's the only thing that I could I could guess. I guess the times are changing. So that's about it. And the spider is showing 66 degrees. I can believe that. Oh, and another thing too, I've, I've noticed this here recently. I don't know about you other mature men and ladies out there, but it's getting more and more difficult for me to drive or ride at night. It's because of the headlights that are coming towards me, that blind me. I've got some night driving glasses and I've tried those and they, they do okay. They do a better. They do better than if you don't have any at all. But it's getting to the point now that I just try to avoid driving at night at all costs. I picked up my daughter and son-in-law, my granddaughter, up from the airport last Sunday, and the flight arrived at 6:09. And driving from Smyrna to Nashville. 
at night and I was a nervous wreck when I got on. I'm telling you, even with those glasses and everything, which helped, but, and I, I had to tell them, I said, listen, I don't mind taking you to or picking you up from the airport, but if you want me to pick you up at night, this is the last time, boys and girls, because I'm not gonna risk my life, y'all's lives, more than mine, because I'm on the outward, I'm on the outward trend, but I don't want to risk getting you guys hurt or killed and because I can't see. So that'll be the last time I'll pick you guys up. So better get an Uber. That's all I'm saying. Well, I guess that's about it. I think I've rambled enough. Got diarrhea of the mouth here today. So I'm going to hit another squirrel. So I'm headed back home to the Smyrna Cowboy Hacienda. And uh, back her in there, and um, i got to check the forecast to see if it's gonna, supposed to rain tonight. I don't know. I've got to check and see if it does. I'll have to pull all that stuff off and tarp it up. So that's it. That's all I got. This is a Smyrna Cowboy here in Smyrna, Tennessee on the way back to the Smyrna Cowboy Hacienda. Wishing you and yours a good day. And until next time, adios. Thank you for your time and attention.